Hey, babe. Hey. What, what day is it? <laughs> oh, dang it. What day is it, babe? I totally forgot. What <laughs> day is it? Hump day. Hump day. <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> hey, welcome. This is yeah. a fabulous hump day, but welcome to Coffee and Confessions. Pastor Paul and Christy she here. She got me. I got you. Yeah. It is hump day, I guess. That's what they call Leo Wednesday. Wednesday. We're going to make this Wednesday hopefully better for you. Help you get over the hump. How are we going to do it? We got a good word from God's word. We got confessions at the end of the show. Our viewers love that. So make sure you stay tuned for this brief encouraging word. We're going to lift you up, not, not beat, beat you up. That's for sure. And at the end of the show, join us with making positive godly confessions over your life. The power of life and death is in the tongue, man. So let's go together and have a great day together. We'll be right back. Or did we already do an intro? I don't know. Time. Harvest. Seed. Okay, so speaking of school, we were talking about school earlier. Seed. Seed plus time, time equals. Harvest. Seed time harvest. Well, wait, I, I think for the viewers it should be seed plus oh, time yeah. equals harvest. Yeah, yeah, I forget about that Backwards. part. You, gotta, you can't flip, you gotta flip around. This is, I love this principle. <laughs> it's in God's word and it's what we're going to talk about today. The verse of the day comes from Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. I mean, this is just the, the goodness and the faithfulness of our God. But right here, it, it says the two things that we're really focusing on is the seed time and the harvest shall not cease. Mm -hmm. The key is this is there is a principle in God's word. It accompanies this harvest mentality in your life. And the idea is when you plant seeds and give it time, God oversees that process because he's the one that puts seed in your hand to sow. Right. Or if you could say in your heart uh, or whatever, in your hand, however you want to you think of it. And then if you give it time and you, you patience, I heard, is a fruit of the spirit. So what that means is you need, we need God's help mm. in waiting yes. and being patient. And moving forward with patience and, and suffering long. long. You ever suffered long with somebody? She suffers long with me every day. No, but yeah. <laughs> uh, you get, long suffering is the idea that, man, it's, it's going to take some time. However, fast. And here's the thing. Some of the seeds, and you, you can't get discouraged about it because you're like, oh, this is going to take forever. No. There's seeds been planted in your past that mm -hmm. you're not even expecting, thinking about the harvest. You're mm -hmm. expecting it, but you're not thinking about it. Right. And it's going to show up on the scene right. out of nowhere because there's been seeds planted in your life uh, financially. Let's just talk about that. When you gave, when you stopped and helped somebody, when you even sowed seeds to loved ones, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why don't we always draw the line when it comes to giving and think, when you blessed your kids, God counts that as giving. <laughs> when you True. when you gave to your church, obviously God counts that as giving. When you give to somebody on the street that needs help or a friend or something like that, man, that's a seed planted. And this says if you give the seed time, there's going to be a harvest. That's right. It's a spiritual law. Mm -hmm. And as long as the world is in existence, you can tap into that spiritual law. That's they good. They say step into your authority, right? That's good. Yeah. I say we're done. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, but that that is true. And and with the spiritual law, it is a law. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We take so much of this that yes. God has into yes. our own hands. We do. And we think it all lays on our shoulders and it's up to us. If it's going to happen, it's up to us. And if yes. it doesn't happen... It's up to us. And it's really, honestly, it's the grace of God who makes this happen. Oh, that's true. We can't make... Take the pressure off. We can plant the seeds. Yes. We can water the seeds. Yes. We cannot make we the seed We can't even create grow. the seed, though. We can't even create the seed. Yeah. We, we, that's we, like what comes first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter because it all comes from God. So it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I actually thought about it. I didn't know how to answer <laughs> But yeah, that's true. I, I'm with you on well, that. Well, I know, I know the answer to that, though. Okay, what's the answer? The chicken. The because chicken Because God first. created the animals. But what if God created an egg first? But he Do created the animals. Do you know for a fact that God didn't create the egg first? 
I do know for a fact. You do? Because How? where in Genesis does it talk about God creating eggs? It talks about him creating animals. Yeah, but maybe birds. it's an indirect reference. Yes, he did create chickens, but it happened to be an egg. But without a chicken first, who is going to... Um, Word. You, all right. I see you, girl. All right. All right. You, you win. You win. But well, check this out. So seed time and harvest. My girl's crazy smart. <laughs> she wicked smart. All right. Number one. Plant the word. What God says got to get in your heart. So right. when, as soon as you listen to God's word, that's why you're here. Mm -hmm. You get, you, seriously, you come into this show, you're going to get God's word planted in your heart. You right. come every day, that's how much seed is getting planted in your heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, 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 it's the word, uh, the water of the word. Yes. And so sometimes it's strengthening seeds that have already been planted in the past. No matter what, God will give the increase, but it's got to get in here. Mm -hmm. And so we know that sometimes seeds can be Planted by the wayside. It doesn't grow roots. Why? Because it's it doesn't have depth. Like you gotta not just have a cursory understanding of what God says. Like you gotta have a conviction. No, this is right. the truth. God wants me well. God wants me healthy. God want, wants me prosperous. He's not a get by God. God wants me happy and healthy in my relationship with Him. Mm -hmm. Happy and healthy in my marriage and my He wants my family to prosper in all that they do. Okay. You gotta have that so deep down inside of you, and it comes by getting the word down inside of your heart. What's well, the second? It's, it's really about, it's really about the, the, the soil, because if you look at the parable um, uh, of Jesus with the parable of the sowers, when he's talking yes. about the different soils, you know, um, and the ones that couldn't hold the seeds, the one that tried to hold the seeds, uh -huh. and it, but it's, it's about the soil and it's about having Ooh. the soil prepared and ready to receive. Yes. Um, and that's really comes from See, God, it says he gives us a measure of faith already. Yeah. So he's already planted that seed yes. within us. But how we cultivate the soil of our heart is, is through our faith, through yes. our um, relationship with God, our understanding who he is, through our relationship with the word. So yeah, that, that really cultivates the soil of our heart so that it we does. can, when this, the, the seed, the word of God gets planted into our heart, it has a place to go and get roots. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's so important to be a part of a church family, to get rooted in your church where the word's being taught, the the whole word. I mean, mm. used to call what we believe like the full gospel, but you know, it's just, look, it's the word as it stands. Like we don't come with any preconceived notions. God, right. if you said I can have it, I'm gonna take it. I need all you got. Like, let's not yep. limit God and say, well, he can't make you healthy. He can't take care of your needs. He can't do, you know, make your, your business grow, your ministry. Mm -hmm. grow. No, no, no. He's in it. He's an increased God, man. He is a more than enough God. Mm -hmm. My cup runs over. Right. Uh, he's more than enough. And number two, you just give it some time. Mm -hmm. um, that waters the word. It really, sometimes people think that patience isn't progress, but patience is progress. It is doing something. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm patiently waiting. I'm, what are you doing when you're waiting? They talk about that in the scripture. You're looking mm -hmm. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I love that verse in, um, in Psalms where it says, I think it's Psalm 121 in verse 1 and 2. It says, you know, where's my help come from? He's struggling. He's wondering, where do I go? He says, I keep my eyes towards the hills because my help comes from God. Right. So where are you focused during mm -hmm. that time that you're waiting? So you planted the seed. Maybe in your marriage, you planted the seed. You're, you've been turning the other cheek. You've been patient with certain things. You've you've said good things to your spouse when you didn't feel it. They said good things to you, but you've been faithful there. Now you give it a little time. Let those seeds stay faithful. Don't pull it up too early and go negative on it. And start allowing your mind, start gossiping about, you know, all oh, this, you know, marriage I'm in and all this kind of stuff. And you start polluting that seed that was planted. Start pulling it up too early. Now just wait. Give it time. Time with the word. So really, so what you're saying, so so plant the word is is just to have that that heart that receives what God says is truth and just yes. to say, yes, Lord. Yeah, you just, just say, yes, you're in have agreement. Have that heart that says, yes, Lord, I'm in agreement with this. Um, and then the, the time, the watering of the word, the patience as you're mm -hmm. talking about, the looking to the Lord, that's that's our hope being... It's kind of stirred up the the mm -hmm. thanksgiving the reminding ourselves who god is mm -hmm. reminding ourselves of what, what he his says, word says yeah but what he's also done in the past things yeah, that, that we've a, even seen tool. him do um through the lives of others it's just that it's like you know when you have a jar of like 
salad dressing or something and all the the stuff kind of settles at the bottom yes. and you just need to shake it every yes. once in a while so that's kind of the watering of the word it's just reminding yes. yourself um and reminding your your soul really who who god is so that's god the water it is yeah and then the last one is just simply harvest and mm -hmm. when you see the harvest you're seeing a manifestation of the seed taking on water sunlight all that it was planted in the right conditions it it, it brought good. in water by, by you and your words mm -hmm. watering the word you giving it patience keeping your eyes towards the lord through the process and the manifestation will come you have mm -hmm. to be convinced that the manifestation will come when i say manifestation it just simply means harvest the harvest is on the way right all right now you might not uh, i mean it's been a while i promise you the harvest is on the way and uh, the worst thing you can do though is eat your seed, right? Mm. <laughs> I'm hungry, so I got these seeds. I'm gonna eat this. No, plant it in the ground. Trust God. Speak the word. Believe the word. Uh, you know, plant that seed faithfully, financially, wherever God tells you to do it. Um, give where you where God tells you to give. Be uh, salt and light in environments where there's no salt and light. Um, don't don't allow darkness get in you. You take what, that's a seed. So if you go into a scenario, let's say at work. Mm -hmm. And at work, it's like, this, this is not a good environment. It's like, people are mean to each other. They're backstabbing and back talking, And it's just not a good place to be. Okay. Well, what can you do to plant a seed into that situation? And so you just don't go in one day on Monday and say, well, it's Monday, so I'll be nice today. And the rest of the week, they're going to get it. Right? <laughs> no, you, you go and you plant the seed of kindness that day. God, help me sustain this. I'm going to continue god help me walk in love i'm gonna keep sowing those seeds it's a lifestyle it's a mentality it's the harvest mentality right. and watch whether god gives you the harvest in that work environment or somewhere else he will give you the harvest if you trust him and you just keep moving forward that's right but i like what you said and i want to touch on this quick yeah um, it's just the manifestation yes. of the harvest so we're just seeing what god's already done and yes. if you think of a seed yeah the 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 fruit or whatever it is that the seed is it's already in the seed it's in the seed so it's not god you know it's not up to us you know to to make god you know make all this happen it's, it's already done jesus already said Faithful. it's finished i love that so our, our promise is already fulfilled it's just we're waiting to see the manifestation so if we understand that it's already here that god has God's already hands. provided it we're just waiting to see it in the physical yeah, amen That'll help keep our hope. I love that. Let's do our confessions together. I will lift my eyes to the hills because I expect my harvest to come from the Lord today and every day of my life. My hope is in Him. Let's say it together. I will lift my eyes to the hills because I expect my harvest to come from the Lord today and every day of my life. My hope is in Him. Amen. Question number two, the Holy Spirit is directing me where to plant seeds at the right time mm -hmm. and the right place to bring me a harvest at the right time. That's it's in good. God's hands. He got this. You just got to be in. That's it. Ready? Let's say it together. The, the Holy Spirit, Spirit is directing me where to plant seeds at the right time and the right place to bring me a harvest at the right time. time. That's good. That's good, man. Check out this clip. Like we're, we're planting seeds, we're being faithful, and yet we don't see the, the increase, the harvest that we're looking for. We're like, man, I've just been waiting and I've, I've been waiting and I've been trying different things and, and I've been, I think that it should be here by now. I mean, I know I prayed for a mate yesterday at 7 p.m., but I'm not married yet, God. And it's, it's been less than 12 hours, right? <laughs> you know, or I don't see the advancement in my career yet. And I don't see this and I don't see that. And we're looking for the now, the immediate. But what ends up coming up when we have that mentality is top ramen and freeze dried Folgers, right? You don't get the good stuff. But what happens when you gain a harvest mentality? What happens when you understand I've planted and watered and God's going to bring me the increase? I'm going to wait. You say, well, how do I know when? When you see the increase, that's your harvest. And you don't stop planting or watering until you see the harvest in your life. So glad you're with it. What's up? Great word today, Pastor Chris. That Christy. was awesome. And uh, we want you to come on down to Living Word Gilbert this weekend. Plan on getting plugged in there. We're going to always lift you up just like coffee and confessions. At our church, we're going to lift you up, not beat you up. Come on down. Find your church family right there, man. We love you. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.